Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark. And I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay. Okay. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can hear me and see me. Okay. I said that was quick. Okay. Great. Very quick. Thank you so much, Lolly. How are you doing? Mwah. Good to see Lolly. The green team is in the house. Yes, thank you so much. Dr. Ramirez, Peter, say woo. All right. Tetsuro, Simon. Hello, Simon. And of course, Lolly. Yes, also. Gaga's in the house. Hey, how are you doing, Gaga? Mwah. Good to see Gaga. Naruto. Hello, Naruto. Helga is in the house. Nice. Radu is here. Okay, we have our usual suspects. Today's going to be fantastic. I know it. I know it. It's snowing today here in Japan. Um, a little surprised, but it's nice. It's nice. It's better than rain. It's um, the snow's falling, but when it hits the ground, it melts. So, oh well. So it's not sticking on the on the road, on the ground. But there are flurries. There's snow falling here in Japan. <clears throat> Okay, all right. Well, um, I hope everyone is well. And let's have our toast. We always do that. We have our toast for good luck before we start. Yeah, so let's go and have our toast. So please, if you have a beverage, please get your beverage. Pick it up for our toast. Okay, so of course, we have to toast to the green team. Yes, the supporters. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Thank you, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Okay. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Salute. Mm. Ah, Marion's in the house. How you doing, Marion? Okay, good. Now for our second toast. It's for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's give a big thank you to you. Yes. And let's also have a toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. Cheers. Yes. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Yes. Fran is in the house. Okay. The green team is strong today. Nice, nice. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Now for today's lesson plan. Today's lesson plan is right here on this sheet of paper. Oh, Hajar, Hajar, hello, Hajar. Good to see Hajar in the house. Yes, the green team is strong today, like I said. All right, so for today's lesson plan, we will do what is it? So um, we will review Tuesday's card. So um, on Tuesday, we did what is it? So today we will re review those four cards. Then we will do which is better. I'm going to give you two items and you tell me which one is better and why. Of course, why is the most important part of this because you have to express yourself in English. Yes, you have to give your reason, your thinking in English. Then we will do which one doesn't belong. I'll give you four items. You choose one item and you tell me why it doesn't belong with the other three. And of course, why? <laughs> you have to use your English to explain yourself. Yes. And we will do dictation cards, of course. And today, dictation cards are based on our members' sentences. Yeah, so I'm starting to do that now where um, for the members of the channel, I give you an idiom and then you make a sentence using that idiom and then um, I will, we will do dictation cards based on the member's sentences. So that is for dictation cards and of course, Lolly's Revenge, a conversation between Joe and Sue and there are four steps. I will read the conversation. I will ask you questions about the conversation. We will read the conversation and we will shadow the conversation. So today is packed. We have lots of things to do today. So I hope you are ready. 
I hope you are relaxed. I hope you are happy because we are going to be here for two hours, everyone. Yay. So two hours of English practice for you. Yay. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Well, be happy is here. Be happy. Maha is here. Okay, great. Today is fantastic, fantastic today. Mm. All right, so here's our first activity. Oh, hey, Sewu, I got your sentence right here, Sewu. I have your sentence in the dictation cards later, okay? Um, here we go. What is it? And this is a review from Tuesday. I have four cards, four cards here. I'm going to give you some clues and I want you to guess what it is. So I'm going to write it on the board here. What is it? What is it? And the answer or the response, it's a, uh, for singular things, it's a. Uh, and we have four cards. One two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I should get four magnets, right? One, two, three, four. One magnet, two magnets, three magnets, four magnets. <laughs> okay, now here we go. What is it? I'm going to give you a clue and you tell me what it is. Okay. It's, it has four legs. It has long ears. It has four legs. It has long ears. Um, actually, do you know the movie Pinocchio? Pinocchio turned into this. <laughs> I just remembered. I just thought of this. I don't know if you saw the movie Pinocchio, the Disney movie Pinocchio, the boy who, who's... He, who tells lies, he's a wooden boy, he tells lies. Well, when he tells a lie, his nose grows. So, so if someone is lying, you just go boop. That means, hey, you're lying. <laughs> if, if you tell me a lie and I go boop, that means you are lying because you are being like Pinocchio. So, okay. <laughs> so Pinocchio turned into this. Um, it's strong. It can carry heavy weight, and it's like a horse. It's not a horse, but it's like a horse. Oh, okay, Dr. Maris asks, how often does it snow in Japan? Um, in, in the mountains, in the winter, it, there's ski resorts, there's lots of snow. But where I live, we get snow like today. I see it still coming down um, a few times. Not, not, not so often where I live, maybe, you know, a handful of times each year, but it's not a snowy place where I live. Okay, let's see, what is it? And okay, yeah, you guys got it. That's right, it's a donkey. It's a donkey, good job. Okay, here we go, card number two, and the clues are, it can fly. It can fly for a short distance. It cannot carry people. It can fly for a short distance. Um, everyone can make one. It's, um, made, it's small. It's made of paper. Um, there can be different designs. It can be fun to make. Um, kids like to do this. I like to do it. <laughs> I like to make one. I like to see how far it can fly. Yes, I like to, I make one and, okay, how, how far can this fly? <laughs> okay, yes, you got it. It's a paper airplane, yes. Good job, it's a, Paper, airplane, very good, very good. All right, all right, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, card number three. Card number three. <clears throat> Here we go. It's, 
It's Japanese. Mm, it's they can be very old. They can be very old. They have lots of curves. They have lots of curves. They do not grow straight. They they grow crooked. They grow crooked. Um, this can be a hobby. Well, it's a hobby, right? You do not see them in the wild. You do not see them in the wild. Mm, they take lots of care. You have to spend lots of time with them. And they are very small and they are a tree. What kind of tree? Yes, you got it. That's right. It's a bonsai tree. It's a bonsai tree. Good, good. It's a bonsai tree. Oh, Anna's here. Hello, Anna. Mwah. Good to see Anna. Yes, the green team is strong today. Very nice. Okay, card number four. We use this in science class. We use this in a laboratory. This, we use this to see um, very small things. We use this to see bacteria. We use this to see viruses. We use this to see very, very small things. And students use this. Scientists use this. This can you can buy one in the store, right? If for for fun, right? You can you can look at things. Um, you can look at very small things for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good, good, good. Nice, nice. It's a microscope. Very good. It's a microscope. Good job, everyone. Woohoo. All right. So this was a review, right? So remember, when we're learning vocabulary, we need lots of review, right? So review is very important when you're learning. And um, and also what's good about listening to clues is you're, you're hearing um, these in different contexts, right? And so, so you have to think about it deeper and you're actually thinking about it um, in, in, in different ways, right? So by me giving you clues, this is helping you um, um, remember the vocabulary better than just looking at the word, right? So, so the clues are very good for your learning. Okay, whoa, I found this. This was hidden for a long time. This is very big, too big actually for this, right? This is like I'm out of, <laughs> this is, this is a, a, a very large pointer, um, but easy for you to see, yeah? Easy for you to see. I ha I've had this for a long time, but it was hidden. So I, I actually, I discovered this just um, the other day. So I thought, okay, might as well use it, right? Might as well use it. Okay, here we go. Let's review. What is it? What is it? It's a donkey. What is it? It's a donkey. What is it? It's a paper airplane. It's a paper airplane. What is it? It's a bonsai tree. It's a bonsai tree. What is it? It's a microscope. It's a microscope. Okay, good job. Well done. Let's go to our next activity. Yeah, let's, let's keep the show moving. Let's keep the show rolling. Okay, so our next activity is um, which one or which is better? Which is better? I'm going to give you two items, and you're going to tell me which one is better and why. Of course, you have to tell me why. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, let me write this on the board. Which is better? Which is better? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, which is better? A computer or a TV? Which is better? A computer or a TV? Which is better? A computer or a TV? Oh, 
Radu always comments on my clothes. You like my shirt? Thank you. I, I got, this was a Christmas present from my wife. This was a Christmas present. Yeah. So I'm wearing a Christmas present. <laughs> okay. Which is better, a computer or a TV, and why? Thank you, Radu. Thank you so much. Yes. Which is better, a computer or a TV? And Radu, this is not Uniqlo. This is not H&M. Do you want to know the brand? Do you want to know the brand, Radu? Okay. Lolly's on the board, number one. A computer, Lolly says, a computer because you have, con you have control on it. You can choose when to use it. Very good, good answer, I like it. Hashem says, computer because it can be TV too. Yeah, it can be both. It can be a TV as well. And says a computer is better because I get a lot of information. Dr. Amara says, a computer because it's portable. Be happy says a computer. Oh, I have to go back. Okay. Be happy says. Hold on. Let me. I lost. Be happy. Okay. A computer because it can store information and we can use it at work and for fun. It is also portable. Nice. Helga says a computer is better than a TV because it is modern and has more possibilities. Yeah, Radu says, okay, Radu wants the brand. This is Eddie Bauer. This is an Eddie Bauer shirt, Eddie Bauer. Okay, Anna says, uh, TV is better because it needs no action from me. Just relax with Netflix. Nice, that's, see, there's, more than there's lots of different opinions and good opinions. That's a great opinion, Anna. Very good. Um, Naru. Okay, Naru. This is what it is. What it is is what it is. We, I don't, I don't put a level on this. We do topics, yeah. And we have here. We have many people who have different levels. We have beginners here. We have intermediates. We have advanced. So what we do is we talk about topics and ideas, right? So it's not, I'm not doing level-based. I'm doing topic-based and um, that's it. So I don't want to, it's too difficult to, for me to decide the level of everyone, right? So I don't do that. So we're here just having interesting topics. We want to talk about interesting things. Okay, Peter, a computer is better because it has more options. Very good. Tomas, the computer is better because we can watch TV on computer but cannot see the web on a TV. Very good. Uh, Tetsuro, computer because I don't like TV shows. Fran says a computer is better because you can take it everywhere. Seiwu. Computer is better because I can always find the information I want. Alice says, a computer is better because it can be TV and do anything. Radu says, a computer because you can use it as a TV apart from using it for other aspects. Anna said, we have another, Anna Maria says, a computer because you can watch everything as a TV and you can work with it as well. Okay, Raja says, oh, I missed it. Where, 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 Raja, Raja. Okay, computer is better than a TV because we can use it in the work all the time. Alisa, Alisa's in the house. Mwah. Alisa's here. Alisa says, a computer, you can watch videos, surf the web, do work, play games, etc. All right, Sylvia says, a computer is better than TV. The computer can help to find some information. Pierre says, a computer is better because you can do a lot of things. Marion says, a computer because it is portable. Helga says, it has more possibilities, a computer. Vera is in the house. How are you doing, Vera? Mwah, Vera. Vera says, 
I think a computer is more better, be, is better. We don't use more better, Vera. We just say better, okay, B Vera? A computer is better because you can communicate with our friends during a pandemic. Yes, Vera, we are doing that now. Fran, for sure, Vera, yes. Fran is agreeing with Vera, very kind. Let's see, Gaga says the computer is better because it gives us more possibilities to do what we can only do on TV. Lolly, okay. Han says a computer is better because it has more information and benefits than a TV. Maha, computer, because I use it, for, I can use it for anything. Seiru says a computer because it's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I love my computer. Yes. My computer is my life. This, this is my life. Oh, it's everything to me. Oh, it's, it's a computer these days has become a necessity, right? We must have a computer. We, it's a computer now is part of our everyday life, good or bad, right? Good or bad. That's the way today is we have to have a computer um dr mary says computer is better because i can watch my english class with mark Mwah! thank you dr maris thank you so much radu says a computer is better because i can make bill gates happy by purchasing windows don't do windows um do apple okay so please don't make gates happy make steve jobs happy <laughs> Well, Steve Jobs is gone now, so it's Tim Cook. So make Tim Cook happy. All right, all right, all right. Okay, well done, everyone. Uh, of course, a computer is better. But I like, I like Anna's response. Anna said she likes TV because she sit back and do nothing, right? Just watch Netflix or something. And, and so... Yeah, so that's the one thing about a TV, right? It, it's very passive, and it can be um, relaxing to just watch the TV, right? So, so of course, my computer is everything. It's my job. It's 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 my enjoyment. It's my entertainment. But I also enjoy having the television as well. Okay, good job. Let me get a magnet. Let's do one more. Yeah, okay. So which one is better, computer and, or TV? And the majority, everyone says computer. And of course, of course. Okay, here we go. Let me, let me do this one. Okay, this is a good one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Radu, but they all do. Same with Microsoft, I think. Yeah, well, Radu, we have to get rid of sweatshops, right? So, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think Apple is bringing more work back to, to um, better conditions. So they are trying, I believe. But yeah, I agree with you for sure. But um, I love my Apple. I like Apple more than Microsoft. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Count down. Card number two, which is better. Five, four, three, two, one. Which is better? Walking or riding a bicycle? Which is better? Walking or riding a bicycle? This is two. Card two. Which is better, walking or riding a bicycle? <laughs> Which is better, walking or riding a bicycle? Which is better, walking or riding a bicycle? Wow, the snow, we're coming, there's big flakes coming down now. The snow is, is, um, big <laughs> we have i wonder if i wonder if i can if you can 
if I, I wonder if that'll work. I'm wondering if I put on my camera and so you can, let's see. I don't know. That, okay, so, okay, you can, s okay, I'm going to try to point outside. I don't know. Is this going to work? Oh, oh. Ah, no. This is my office. You can see my office. Yeah. But right out the door, ah, you can, I was going to show you the snow, but it, it's not going to work. <laughs> I can't get the ag angle. I can't get the angle correct. Okay, let's get back to this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, which is better, um, walking or riding a bicycle? And let's see who's up on the board there. I see Helga. Walking is better because you don't need a bike. <laughs> Lolly says walking because even poor people can do it. Raidu says riding a bicycle because you can burn more calories in the same amount of calories time. I don't know about that, Radu, Radu. I'm not sure about that. Okay, I can't. Okay. Okay. Be happy says walking because it's healthier for my body, um, for my body parts, and it's cheaper as well. Tomas says walking is better for me because I'm afraid of riding a bike in the street. Okay, Radu. Shh. Don't say that word. Don't don't say that. Don't say that, Radu. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Okay, Dr. Mara says walking is better because you can walk in you can walk at any age. You can walk at any age. Good, good, good. Oh, thank you, Helga. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tomas says, um, what kind of phone? This is a iPhone. This is a iPhone. Yeah. Because I have an iPhone because I have a, a, an Apple laptop, a, a MacBook, and so it all syncs together. So it works well together. My, my iPhone and computer are in, in um, harmonious, or they're, they're in harmony. They're in harmony together. Um, let's see. Fran says, I prefer walking because I take the time to look around safely. Oh, okay, Fran, yeah. So walking, you can look around safely. You don't have to worry about cars and things, right? You just, you're walking, strolling. Very good. Rita says, walking is better because no need to honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> or or the, the bicycle um, horn. Boop, boop, honk, honk. Okay. Um, Raja says, I prefer walking because, um, because I can, um, use like exercise my whole body, right? Rad, you can, Raja, you can exercise your whole body by walking. Anna, I prefer walking because it is more relaxing. Elisa, cycling, you can go anywhere far. You can go you can go anywhere. You can go far anywhere. You can go far anywhere. You can go anywhere far. Either way. Yeah, good. Radu says walking is better because you can get into places where a bicycle, bicycle cannot. Tomas says, oh, yeah. Okay, so you have a Galaxy. You have an Android. Tomas. Tomas has an Android system. Okay, Gaga, riding a bicycle is better because it demands more effort. Walking is better, but riding is the best, says um, Team T-A-G-Z TV. Helga says walking is better because bicycles are a frequent cause of road accidents. Oh, no. Tetsuro says riding a bicycle because it makes you you can get to places um, earlier, right? Faster than walking. You can get to places faster than walking. That's what Tetsuro says. Radu, walking is better because you don't have to worry about someone stealing your bicycle. Yeah, I don't like thieves. Thieves are terrible. Okay. 
Sewu, walking is better. You can do it anywhere. Dr. Maris, walking is better because it is not necessary to have any skill at all. No. Uh, Marion, riding a bicycle because you can put more effort into it. Okay. Uh, Maria says, walking is better because you will be, you will have good health. Walking is better, Maria says, because you will have good health. Uh, Alice says, riding a bicycle is better because it can make, it is quicker. You can get someplace quickly. You can get where you want quickly. You can get to a place quickly. Pierre says, walking is better because you can lose weight. Sylvia says, walking is better for me. I like to um, work on foot. Okay, so maybe Sylvia, she can do her, her work and walk at the same time. That's nice. Radu um, says, walking is better because it's free, whereas, in, um, whereas for bicycles, you have to um, pay for the bike, and then you have to maintain it. That's right. Um, Saima says, Ahmed says, walking is better. You have saved your money as well as health. Right, so nice one, Ahmed. Ahmed says, walking is healthier, and it's free. Yes, walking is free. <laughs> Tomas says, riding a bicycle is dangerous. Alice says, riding a bicycle is better because um, it is quicker. Uh, of course, you get somewhere quicker by a bicycle. Vera says, um, very hard to find what is better. Vera, so for Vera, this is a, a tough decision. So she says, um, it's hard to define which is better. But for me, riding a bicycle is better because I have new and I have a new and beautiful bicycle. Okay, so Vera has a new beautiful bicycle, so she prefers riding her bicycle. All right. Um, good job, everyone. Gabriel, Joaquin, because it can be easier than a riding a bicycle. Peter, a uh, bicycle is better because I can travel longer distances. That's right, longer distances. Radu, walking saves you money, which is nice. You can keep your millions of dollars in your pocket. Millions of dollars. Keep your millions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's keep our money in our pocket. Okay. For me, walking. I don't even have a bicycle anymore. I, I gave up my bicycle I have a car or I walk. I prefer walking um, for me to walk. So if I have to go someplace far, let's say, um, so for me, uh, I walk here to my office. I walk every day for, for exercise. I also enjoy walking to, to think, right? So I enjoy walking because I can think about things, right? I can think about um my job here, my YouTube channel, I can think about um, what videos I'm going to make. I could think about um, the topics, right? So I enjoy that where I can, for me, when I'm walking, I, I think better. And if I go this year because of COVID-19, I, st I don't go out. But last year, I would meet friends and um, have some beers with friends. But so you can't drink and drive, right? And so I would leave early and walk to the pub. And that way I, don't have, I didn't have to worry about police. I didn't have to worry about, um, I could do it safely, right? So I could just walk to the pub um, and not worry. So um, walking for me is great. I love walking. I do it as much as I can. I, I walk as much as I can. So. Good job, everyone. Well done. I like your sentences. Good. I think most people prefer walking. Yeah. I mean, we have lots of people like a bicycle, but I, in, in today's chat, our group today, I think we had more people who prefer walking and also, or other 
was um, which is better, computers or TV? And in our, our group here today, um, we prefer computers. Yeah, okay, so good job, everyone. Yep, 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 so that was fun. Let's do another activity. Yeah, we're just rolling with the activities today, aren't we? <laughs> let's keep the party moving, or no, let's keep the party going. <laughs> we can say, let's keep the party going, or we could say, let's keep the train moving. So let's, let's do both. Let's keep the party going and let's keep the train moving, everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, for our next activity, it is this, it's which one doesn't belong? Yeah, which one doesn't belong? Yeah, which one does not? I'm getting it right here. It's um, right here is Lolly's Revenge, and um, I have to get it under. It's a little cold in here, so my, my, my fingers aren't working as well as they usually do. Okay, here we go. I got it. I got it. I'm going to write on the board. We have space here. Which one doesn't belong and why? All right. Okay, I think we can start right here. Okay, which one? doesn't belong okay so which one because which means why okay so which one doesn't belong number one you tell you put you tell me which one and the reason why because okay here we go this is group one, four things. We have a fire hydrant, a life preserver, goggles, an alarm. Which one doesn't belong and why? One more time. A fire hydrant, a life preserver, goggles, an alarm. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, one more time. A fire hydrant, a life preserver, goggles, an alarm. Which one doesn't belong and why? I will show you the, the items. I need, I have to cover the ones below so you can't see the next ones. Okay, here are the four things I'll show you. A for Anna, hello. Mwah. Okay, that's okay. We're doing now which one doesn't belong. So there's four things. Which one doesn't belong with the other three? Okay, so we have, here we go. We have, there it is, a fire hydrant, a life preserver, goggles, and an alarm. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, Radu, very good. Radu says goggles because they go on your eyes. All the others do not. That's true. Let's see. Tomas says goggles because it is not a. It is not against. Okay, it's not used against a f or it's not used with fire. It doesn't have to do with fire. Well, actually, Life Preserver doesn't have to do with fire either, Tomas. Okay. Um, Be Happy says, goggles don't belong because they are used for diving, while the other items are used for emergency. Very good. Yes, I like it. Helga says, a Life Preserver because it is used in the water. In the water. Good. A for Anna. Goggles does not belong because it's used for 
water, radu, a fire hydrant, because it is installed directly on the ground. The others are not. Very good. See, this is great. You guys are using your imagination. You're thinking deeply about this. You are coming up with like interesting points of view. Interesting points of view. Very good. So you are using your own point of view. Very good. I like it. I like it. Dr. Maris, an alarm because it is not related with water. Very good. Lolly, a life preserver because it's uses on it's used for it's used on deep water. Good, good. It's used on deep water. Yes, Lolly. Mary Poppins, how you doing? Mary Poppins is in the house. Mary Poppins says, um, goggles because they are plural. Yeah, yeah, Mary Poppins. That's right. Hashem says alarm because it wakes you up. <laughs> bring, bring, wake up. That's right. I like it. I like it, Hashem. Or no, that was, um, yeah, Hashem. Good one. Oh, goggles, they save our eyes. Yes, Tomas. That's right. That's why we have them, to s protect our eyes. Pierre, goggles, because you don't need it. Oh, okay. Like maybe optional. Okay, Pierre, good. Anna says life preserver because there are two words. Well, fire hydrant has two words too, Anna. Oh, I'm sorry. Fire hydrant is two words as well. Radu says an alarm because it produces high levels of noise. All the others do not produce any noise. Yeah. See, you guys, great, great points of view. Very good. POV, nice POV. Lolly says a life preserver because you can rescue people. Yes. Well, you rescue them from drowning. So um, we could say alarm rescues people because they wake up. Um, we can say a fire or a fire hydrant rescues um, buildings, burning buildings, <laughs> and goggles can. Yeah. No. Yep. Okay. Good, Lolly. Maria says alarm because it makes us sound good. Gaga, only the alarm is not related with water. Okay, good. Radu, a life preserver because it can make you float. The others do not make you float. Good. See, there's lots of answers here. Many, many kinds of answers. I like it. Helga, alarm because it is the most frightening. See, nice, 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 nice. Okay, my, my answer is goggles because goggles protect your eyes. Yeah, where um, a fire hydrant protects um, burning. Uh, well, mm, this, let me, um, let me think. Maybe th that doesn't work because Fire hydrant, life preserver, alarm. They have different protection. They all have protection, right? So fire hydrant um, is used to put out a fire, right? A life preserver is used to um, keep you from drowning. Goggles protect your eyes. And an alarm is used to wake you up. So actually an alarm because it doesn't, protect you it 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 alarms you right so so a fire hydrant protects a burning building a life protect a life preserver protects you from drowning and goggles protect your eyes where an alarm wakes you up or gives you a notification before it happens a notification right so so an alarm how should I? How can I say this? Okay, so I'm going to say an alarm because it warns you. How about that? 
warned you of danger. Okay, so the the uh, the the alarm warns you of danger, like maybe an earthquake or a fire or smoke, right? Smoke alarm. So an alarm warns you where a fire hydrant protects, a life preserver protects, and goggles protect, where an alarm gives you a warning. Okay, good, good, good. So let's, let's look at the, the things one more time. And then we'll do, ah, ah, I just dropped my, uh, okay, this will work. Here we go, this works. I'll, I'll turn this the other side. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> sorry, I'm being slow. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, that's good, here we go. So here we have, right here, fire hydrant. Then we have a life preserver, goggles, and an alarm. So a fire hydrant protects or yeah, so it it um, protects burning buildings. A life preserver protects you from drowning. Goggles protect your protect your eyes. An alarm gives a warning. Gives a warning. 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 Boop. 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 All right. So there we go. Okay. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Let's do. The second one, two. Let's do. Okay, so which one doesn't belong and why? Because. Okay, good, good, good. Here we go. Here's our second group. For our second group, we have a bridge, a gas pump, an anchor, and a traffic light. One more time a bridge, a gas pump, an anchor, and a traffic light. Which one doesn't belong and why? A bridge, a gas pump, an anchor, and a traffic light. Which one doesn't belong and why? Oh, Radu, I don't know. It's like, I guess they're slow. So Radu's asking for the barrel of Japanese water. It's right here. <laughs> I'm drinking some Japanese tap water right now. I don't know, Radu. Um, I gave you the tracking number so you can um, follow your shipment. So I gave you the tracking number last week. I hope you didn't lose it because it's a secret number. So I hope you didn't lose the tracking number for your, to follow your barrel of Japanese tap water that I sent you. <laughs> okay, Tomas says, a gas pump because we stop next to it. Yeah, I like it. Helga says, an anchor because it is used for ships or boats, yeah. Mary Poppins says a traffic light because we need electricity to use it. Well, I think maybe a gas pump needs electricity. Maybe, you know, to get the gasoline moving. So maybe uh, Mary Poppins, a gas pump also uses electricity. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the four items. Here are the four items right here. We have a bridge, a gas pump, an anchor, and a traffic light. A bridge, a gas pump, an anchor, and a traffic light. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Oh, Anna, I don't know why they hid yours, but I like your answer. I like it. A for Anna says, 
a bridge because it is used to connect a place to another place. Yeah, that's what a bridge does. It connects one place with another place. Fantastic. Yeah, good one, Anna. Seru says a traffic light because it indicates it's indi it indicates by color. Yeah, that's right. Red means stop. Yellow means slow down. And green means go. Very good. Where a bridge doesn't have color. Well, it doesn't indicate anything with colors. A gas pump does not. And an anchor does not. Very good, Seiru. Very, very good. <laughs> yeah, Mary Poppins. Fantastic. Tomas says anchor because we use it underwater. That's right, Tomas. A bridge is not underwater. It's over water, right? A gas pump is not underwater. And a traffic light is not underwater. No, it's not only an anchor is underwater. Very good. Vera says a bridge because it is, it is, oh, it's difficult to construct. That's right. A bridge is very difficult to construct. Very good, Vera. Lolly says an anchor because we don't use it in traffic. Or we could say in transportation. I think that's better, Lolly. Let's say that, okay, Lolly? An anchor because we don't use it in... Oh, transportation, we use it... Yeah, no, 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 you're, you're better, that traffic. Because transportation, we, we use... A ship is transportation, and we use that in a ship. So I'm wrong, you are correct, Lolly, yes. Traffic meaning cars, right? Things with tires. Very good, very good, Lolly. I like it. Radu says a gas pump can also have colors. Y y yeah, but it's not. It doesn't indicate, right? So, um, Rad, a gas pump can have colors, but it doesn't indicate anything, right? Where a traffic light, what Sebu says, um, colors indicate. Um, what to do, right? So when, when you see red, that means you have to stop. So the red, the light is indicating you to stop. Yellow indi is indicating you to slow down. Green is indicating you to go. Okay, Anna says an anchor because it is used for sailing, yes. Maria says traffic light because we use it on the street, road, yes. That's right. Good one. Hand says traveling or traffic. Travel. Okay, we say um, traffic light, Hand, because it keeps people on the way or it keeps people safe. I like it. Good, good, Hand. I actually like keeps peop keeps keeps the road safe, right? A traffic light keeps the road safe safe or it keeps the traffic safe right very good i like it i like it uh, dr mara says an anchor because it is used for stopping ships the others are used for movement oh dr maris yes that's right so a bridge is used to um, move cars or trucks over water um, a gas pump is used well puts gas in cars to keep them moving, um, a traffic light um, keeps car, you know, keeps it movement. But an anchor is used to stop, right? It's used to stop boats and ships. Very good, Dr. Maris. I like it. See, you guys are fantastic. I like your answers. Very creative. Everyone is being creative. Everyone's using your imagination, and I like your points of view. Anna says, a bridge over troubled water because <laughs> it's one <laughs> more than one meaning. Anna, I like that song. Yes, Simon and Garfunkel. Mm -hmm. Simon and Garfunkel, very good. I'll be your bridge over troubled water. That's a, that's a beautiful song. That is a very beautiful song. Uh, Pierre says, gas pump because it... it because it found gas for, okay, Pierre, gas pump because it puts gas in cars. 
It puts gas in cars. It puts gas in cars. Yes. Yeah, stopping ships, stopping boats. Well, it doesn't stop. It, it keeps them from moving. So an anchor doesn't stop. It's not like, okay, Doug Maris, it's not like a, you know, a brake on your car or your bicycle, right? So let's say your bicycle, you're, 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 you're um, moving, right? You're riding your bicycle and you see a car or somebody and you put on the brakes, right? And you stop. Where anchor can't really stop, what it does, it, it, it keeps the boat from moving. So let's say that. It keeps, it keeps the boats, it keeps the ships from moving. Okay, okay, good. So traffic, okay, Tomas says a traffic light because it, it, it rules over the traffic. Yeah, so it instructs the cars what to do. So a traffic light instructs cars what to do or instructs people what to do, right? So instructs you to, to go or to slow down or to stop. Rita's in the house. Hey, Rita. Mwah. Rita's here. Yay. Hello, Rita. Rita says gas pump because it stores liquid inside. Yes. Yes, yes. Good, Rita. Anna says gas pump because we have to pay to pump the petrol. That's right. We have to, the, the, the traffic light, we don't pay. I mean, we pay our taxes, but when, it, we don't, when, we're, when we're driving, we don't pay. The anchor, don't have to pay. <laughs> you have to pay for the anchor, but to use it, you don't have to pay. The bridge, actually, there are some toll, some bridges you have to pay on. A, they're called like a toll road or a, a, a toll bridge, and um, that's how they pay for the bridge is um, to use it, you have to pay. Pay to use it. So there are some bridges you have to pay um, in America, here in Japan, same same thing. Not many, but some you do. But of course, um, for gas, you have to pay every time. <laughs> if you want gas, you have to pay for it, that's for sure. Okay, good job, everyone. So um, my answer is... What was my answer? Anchor, because it's not um, car related. So I'm going to say anchor because it's not car related. It's um, shipping related or, or, you know, water related. So um, I'm going to say anchor. Because it's not a car truck related okay good 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 all right well that was we did a lot of like um you using your own sentences right all these all this you, you decided on your own. You used English to communicate your, your ideas. You used English um, for your point of view, for your thinking, for your answers. Yeah, so um, well done. I like these activities because you have to think in, in um, different ways. <coughs> you have to express your ideas. So um, well done, everyone. Fantastic. I am now, we, we, will, we are now going to do um, dictation practice, okay? So you need a pencil and a piece of paper because you're going to um, listen and write down what I say word for word. While you are getting your pencil, while you are getting your paper, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard so that you can um, check out these this information anytime you want to yes so I have there's the well I got to turn it around okay there we go we got the um, my camera is on I'm gonna take a picture of the whiteboard you can't see me but you can hear me 
Okay, so let's count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good job. You did it. We did it. We did it. Now, after today's lesson, I will upload this to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. Yes, so all the whiteboards are on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So if you want those whiteboards, please go to my Facebook group page. You can, um, if you're not a member, please um, sign up. <laughs> it, Facebook groups, Facebook groups. Okay, let me, I need to, ah, sometimes these cards are hard to get off the whiteboard. Oh, like right now they're hard. Okay, it's difficult right now. Okay, these weren't, this one's difficult. Ah, ah, just let it fall down. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to erase the board, but that's okay because I took a picture. No problem. This will be, all this information will be stored, will be saved onto my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. Okay, now, what we are doing today, I'm thinking maybe we'll do this every Friday. I'm thinking this could be a new, uh, I, I think this is a good way to use your input, yeah, into the class, right? S so for the members who join the channel, every week we do a, um, what's it, like a, a quiz, yeah, quiz, and I give you an idiom, and you have to choose what it means, and then make a sentence based on that idiom. And so we've been doing that for a long time. But then I'm thinking, hey, why don't I use your sentences in the class, right? So that's what we did last week, and I'm doing it now. So maybe we'll just keep doing it that way. The problem, one problem is the sentences become very long. <laughs> you guys like to make long sentences. So, um, so today's sentences are very long. I didn't write the sentence, you did. And you guys, our members, wrote long sentences this week. <laughs> so um, our, our idiom was out of character, out of character. So that's what our, our, um, our topic, out of character. And that means um, inconsistent, whoops, need a C right there, okay, inconsistent, inconsistent with ones, personality okay and unusual behavior okay so actually they mean the same so out of character, inconsistent with one's personality, unusual behavior, okay? So out of character. So your usual personality, right? So maybe, you know, you're, you're kind and soft-spoken, but if you're like out of character, maybe, you know, you're yelling and you're being angry, you're being mean, it's like, whoa, you're out of character. <laughs> You're, you're acting strange or you're not acting your usual, you're not being your usual self. You are not being your usual self. I like that. So 
you are not being, you are not being your usual self. Okay, so you're out of character. You are not being your usual self. Like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, Anna, green team is you. So you're a member. So Anna says, uh, what is the green team, by the way? You are because you join the channel. Your name is green. So I call you the green team. Yeah. So I'm going to put the emoji right there. The green team. So let, let's see. So right there, Anna. So you. That's, you're the green team, yeah? You're, you are a member of the channel and your name is green. So you're part of our team. And so you get the extra content and you did a sentence, Anna, right here. I have one of your sentences. I have your sentence. So today's cards, yes, good luck. So today's cards are from A for Anna, Sewu, Sophia, Sophia's, she can never be at our live stream, but she watches every one. So hello, Sophia. Miley's not here today, but she's usually here. So hello, Miley. Um, Dr. Ramirez, we have her sentence. Larissa, hello, Larissa. She's not here right now, but we have her sentence. Fran is here, and we have Fran's sentence. Marion is here. We have Marion's sentence, all right? So those are the people who um, answered the quiz. And so I wrote your answer here. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah, these are long sentences. So it's the, the green team, they did it. <laughs> they made these long, these long sentences. So good luck, <laughs> good luck. Okay, are you ready? Do you have a pencil? Do you have paper? Yes? There you go, A for Anna. You're the green team. That's right. I stopped shuffling, Lolly. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, thank you, San Santana. Santana, Santana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go. Pencil and paper. Okay, Fran, not, I, you, this is dictation practice, okay? Okay, here we go. I hope you have a pencil. I hope you have paper. So here we go. Card number one, count down. Oh, let me write down the, our steps. I always do that. I need to do that. Step one, shadow. Step two, meaning. Step three, on your own. Step four, quiz. Okay, those are our four steps. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Card number one. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number one. What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Okay, each card I'm going to read three times. So this is the second time. What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Third time. What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Okay, card number two. Be happy. We're, it's a joke. So we, it's a joke. So she's not, so Lolly is not serious. It, this is a joke between Lolly and myself. <laughs> yeah, Sewu, this is your, this is Sewu's card. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Card number two. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number two. Sometimes 
When I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Sometimes, when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Third time. Sometimes, when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Card number three, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Card number three. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. Card number four. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Card number four. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. Okay, card number five. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Card number six, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. These are long sentences, so... Don't worry if you don't get all of them. If you don't get the whole sentence, you're going you're gonna to be able to see the cards. We're going to practice more. So don't worry if, if um, you're not getting all the words because these are long sentences. Okay, here we go. Number seven. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. Okay, last card. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. With the COVID, 
Many people are out of character. With the COVID, many people are out of character. With the COVID, many people are out of character. Okay, <laughs> okay, that was long. Yep, yep. Our green team wrote long sentences. Yeah, so I hope, I, I, I was looking down. You guys got most of it, so no problem, I think. We did the shadowing. Okay, good. Now, um, we're going to shadow again, and then I'm going to show you the card. You will see the sentence, you will see the picture, and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So let's do it again, and um, I will show you the card. You will see the sentence, you will see the picture, and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So if, if the first time it was difficult, this, you, will, you will see it, okay? So here we go. We'll talk about the meaning. Step two, count down, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Wait, wait, this, this is dictation. Why sh this is shadow and meaning. What? Sorry, sorry, I, this was wrong. I wrote it wrong. I got to fix it. So this, this was dictation. <laughs> oh, no. And now shadow and meaning. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. My mistake. I'm always making mistakes all the time. Okay. Shadow time. <laughs> now, this is speaking practice, not writing practice, right? We did writing practice. Now, this is speaking practice. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character. This is Sewu's sentence. And so, like, here it is, like, unusual behavior, right? Like, what's wrong? Why are you acting strange, right? So, unusual behavior. <laughs> okay, good. Good one, Sewu. Good sentence. Okay, card two. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. This is Sophia's sentence. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character, right? So so here like your your personality, your your feeling has changed. Right? So here, you're not being your usual self. So um, when I'm not in a good mood, I'm out of character. So when I'm not in a good mood, I'm out of my usual behavior. Yeah. Okay, card three. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. So this is Dr. Ramirez's sentence. And so she's, her friend, right, is... Okay, so she's hurt, right? So why aren't you going to the doctor, right? So that's not her usual self. Like, oh, I'm hurt. I sh she goes to the doctor. But for some reason, she's not going to the doctor. Why, why are you doing that? Why are you out of character? Okay, number four. 
he offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. He offered a response so out of character it amazed me. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. Now, here, okay, so here we're going, like, most of these are negative, right? So, like, why are you acting badly, right? So, w why are you acting strange, right? So, in a way, these are kind of negative, right? These are, uh, like, are, are the, the, um, the feeling is negative, where this is positive, right? So, it, it's just unusual behavior, so, or, or personality, right? So, um, usual self, S but it can be like a good thing too, right? So, so maybe you know someone who, who is always um, moody, right? Maybe you, you know someone who's always angry, <laughs> right? And then all of a sudden they're happy. Wow, why are you happy? You're out of character. So it, it's not only negative, it can be positive, right? So here, like, wow, that amazed me. That was a, like a great response. That's, you're out of character. So wow, that's ama you amazed me. So, so here, Marion, this is Marion's sentence. So Marion is using this in a positive way, all right? So good job. Good job, Marion. Okay, here we go. Our next number five. <clears throat> it's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Yeah, Marin, you're always, Marin always comes out with clever sentences. So um, Marin's always, Marion is very clever. Yeah. Okay, this is from Miley. Hello, Miley. Miley's not live, but she's, she'll be watching. She lives in Italy, okay? So I hope you're feeling well, Miley. I hope everything's good. This is your sentence, Miley. She says, it's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests, all right? So this is Nate, right? So politicians should be working for the people, but it's not out of character. So it's not unusual for politicians to act in their own interest. So like they do things for themselves, not for the people, right? They do things to make money for themselves. And so that's not out of character. That's usual. So here it's using, we're using it like a, a negative, two negatives equal positive. So it's not out of character. So it's usual for them to be bad, right? It's usual for them to only think of themselves. It's usual for politicians to not think about people, only themselves. Okay, number six, here we go. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday she threw yesterday she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. This is A for Anna. That's right, Anna. It could be positive or negative. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Now I, I changed it because I was, so I, I put some um, correction fluid on this because um, originally, A for Anne, you said throw a temper. So actually, we say throw a temper tantrum, but it's too long. <laughs> so 
Throw a fit is the same. So we have um, just, this is a, um, so, so um, throw, throw a fit or throw a temper tantrum. Okay, so it means the same. So it means the same. Um, we don't say, okay, A for Anna, we don't say throw a temper. No, throw a temper tantrum. And so that's when children go, ah, I, I, I want the toy, I want the toy, and they, they cry and scream. And so they're throwing a temper tantrum. But that's too long. <laughs> it, it, it was too long for the card. So um, throw a fit means the same thing, but it's, it's much shorter. <laughs> so, so here, so I, I, I changed it to, um, we don't say um, throw a temper. So we need tantrum, temper, tantrum, all right? So, or throw a fit. Okay, good, good. Anna. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Card number seven. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. All right, so this, okay, fired means you lose your job, right? You're like, get out. Like, you're fired. You no longer work here, right? It's like, oh, my God. You know, they, your job, you lose your job. You're fired. And, and a lot of times we have this sign, right, like, like cutting your throat, like, you're fired, you're gone, <laughs> okay? And, okay, before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. So maybe John goes into the office. Oh, this, this card, this sentence is from Larissa. Larissa's not here right now, but hello, Larissa. She always comments. Um, she's a big supporter of me and the channel, so thank you, Larissa. So, um... This is her sentence. So perhaps John goes into his office. H his boss seems strange, right, out of character. And then his boss goes, you're fired. And it's like, oh, my God, right? And so um, he's surprised, right? So John was surprised because his, his boss was out of character, and he got fired. <laughs> oh, poor John, poor John. Okay, here we go. Card number eight. Card number eight, last one. With COVID, many people are out of character. With COVID, many people are out of character. With COVID, many people are out of character. And this is Fran. Yes, Fran. This is Fran's sentence. She's here today with us. Yes, Fran. Hello, Fran. Thank you. <laughs> Her sentence, with COVID, many people are out of character. Yeah, so this the pandemic is making everyone act unusual, right? We're not our usual self, right? We can't do what we want, right? We, we can't travel. We can't do many things. So, and we, we have to stay home a lot. So, so perhaps we are out of character because of the virus. So, Nice one, good friend. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Dismiss, that's, dismiss, yeah. Stronger is like, fired, you're fired. You know, angry, fired. Dismiss, yeah, same, you know, you're dismissed. That's more like, okay, say we dismiss is more like for school. Okay, class is dismissed, okay? But for working, it's better to say um, fired, okay? Like, you're, you're fired. Where um, at school, you know, okay, you are dismissed. You can leave now. 
you will come back. The students will come back, but for, you know, maybe you're dismissed for lunch. You're dismissed for recess. You're dismissed for a break, all right? So you can leave, but then you have to come back. Fired, you leave, but you don't come back. No, you never come back. <laughs> okay, nice one. We shadowed and talked about the meaning. Very good. Let's check that off. We did it. Now, on your own, okay? So I have a card, and we're going to do it again. And you're going to say the sentence based on the picture alone, only by the picture. Okay, okay Alex, fit. Throw a fit, okay? If you only say fit, that means you're in shape. You're fit. But throw a fit, throw a fit means like you're, you're angry. Usually children do this. They throw a fit. They cry. They get angry. They get animated like, Rah! or people, you know, adults can do it too. Like, oh, I can't believe it. You know, they break things, right? They, you know, they'll break. Gah, I can't believe it. They're throwing a fit. Okay, so you're, you're acting um, like a child. You're acting like a spoiled child. Okay, let's do. There you go, Radu. Thank you. So in the chat, we got lots of people here who, who are very clever, who who are very good at English, and if you have any questions, we got the answers in here in the chat. The answers are here in the chat. Fantastic. Mwah. Okay, let's do the challenge. Yeah, on your own. We're going to take turns. I'm going to say it, then you say it. When you say it, you're going to only do it by looking at the picture. It's a challenge, but that's why we are here. Okay, here we go. Oh, Vasana, hello. Vasana's in the house. Hello. Mwah. Doing good. Vasana, these are long sentences, so good luck. <laughs> good luck. We're talking about out of character, the idiom out of character, and it means unusual behavior. You are not being your usual self. No. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm first and you go. What's wrong? What could make you behave? So, out of character. Now it's your turn. It's long. What's wrong? What can make you behave so out of character? What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Good. Yeah, yeah, Millhouse. That's right, right here. Throw a temper tantrum or throw a fit. Okay, here we go. Card two. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I get out of character. Hey, Norman, how are you doing? We say, Norman, not I am delayed. We say, I am late. That's okay, Norman. We still have Lolly's Revenge. We're doing these. We're... we're, we're at the on your own so please um do your best say these sentences with me we are talking about the idiom out of character when i asked her why she didn't go to the doctor she was out of character When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. When 
When I asked her why she didn't go to the doctor, she was out of character. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. Good, Norman. No problem, Norman. No problem. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. There, this, these are long, Vanessa. Vasana, sorry, Vasana. Yep. Before he was fired, John noticed that his boss was out of character. These were the green team. They did it. <laughs> they did it, Vasana, the green team. These are their sentences. With the COVID, many people are out of character. With the COVID, many people are out of character. With the COVID, many people are out of character. With the COVID, many people are out of character. Okay. Those were long. I hope you guys did. I, you can, it's, this is actually, it, it's good, you know, sometimes to have it easy, sometimes to have it difficult, right? So it's good to have the change, right? It helps your learning. So, so it's good to have, you know, a mix, right? Sometimes easy, sometimes difficult. It's good for you. Okay. Now let's do the quiz, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the cards and then I'm going to choose the top three cards on, the, on the, the stack and I want you to write those sentences in the chat. Okay, here we go. And I'm going, to, I'm waiting for Lolly to say stop, Mark. I'm waiting for Lolly to say stop. Where's Lolly? Lolly, I'm waiting for you. I want you to say, please stop, Lolly. Ah! Yes, Gaga. He offered a response so out of character that it amazed me. Very good. Okay, Lolly, thank you. Okay, stop. I stopped. Okay, here we go. I'm taking the, the first three cards from the stack. Okay, here we go. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Here we go. 
and write the sentence. Please write the sentence. <coughs> Please write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? Vasana, yes, this is practice for you. This is writing practice. Yep. So in the chat, please write the sentence. Yep. Okay, Helga. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Good. A for Anna, this is yours. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Very good. <coughs> Alberto, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday. She was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Very good. Sewu, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. All right. Nice. See, we're getting it. We're doing it. Tetsuro, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Mary Poppins, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Marion. No, Radu, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Peter, 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 Peter. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit <laughs> at the mall. <clears throat> good, good, good. Alice, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Mm-hmm. Alex, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Vera, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Tomas, Anne is a nice girl. But yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit. When she, when she threw a fit at the mall. Very nice. Yeah, so Tomas changed a little bit, but that was good. He, he used the, um, he used a um, conjunction, but very good to connect two sentences, right? So, Anne is a nice girl, period. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall, right? Two sentences, but Tomas used a conjunction but to connect the two sentences. Anne is a nice girl, but yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. So that's a complex sentence. Nice. Good one, Tomas. Very good. Rita. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Dr. Maris, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. All right, so let's check. Marion, Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Perfect. Okay, let's check the answer. You got it. That's a long one there. Anne is a nice girl. Yesterday, she was out of character when she threw a fit at the mall. Oh, don't do that. Don't throw a fit. Don't throw a fit. No one wants to hear your screaming. No, no one wants to see you in a fit. No. Nope. Okay, here we go. Card two. What, what is the sentence? What is the sentence? This is quiz card number two. What is the sentence? Yeah, Gaga, good. Yeah, Tomas, nice. That was that was great, and that was a good um, a, a a good um, what's it like a teach teachable moment. That was a good um, moment for me to explain that. So that was good, Tomas. Thank you. Okay, what is the sentence? What is the sentence? What's wrong? What's wrong? OK. 
Okay, that's okay. Yeah, Maria, it's a long sentence. That's fine. Say who? What's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? <laughs> yes, you know that, huh? Say who? This is Say who's sentence. Okay, yeah, Maha Ann is a nice girl. Yesterday she was out of character when she threw a fit. Good. Yep. Yeah, you forgot. These are these are long, everyone. So it's okay. Don't worry. Tetro says, what's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Helga, what's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Alice, what's wrong? What is wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Alonzo, hello, Alonzo. Rita says, what's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? character mary poppins what's wrong what can make you behave so out of character marion what's wrong what could make you behave so out of character peter what's wrong what can make you behave so out of character anna what's wrong what can make you behave so out of character dr emeritus what's wrong what can make you behave so out of character Okay, Alberta, what's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? Fran, what's wrong? What could make you behave so out of character? I should write it down on paper. Yes, you should, Tomas. You should use paper. Practice writing, Tomas. Lolly, what's wrong? What can make you behave so out of character? character. Gaga, what's wrong? What can make you behave so out of character? Okay, let's check the sentence. Da -na -na -na. Yes. What's wrong? What can make you behave so out of character? Okay, one more. Here we go. Card number three, everyone. What is the sentence? This is the last card. Last card for the quiz. Please write the sentence. Please write the sentence. What is the sentence? Please write the sentence. These are long. This is a hard one. This is a this is a tough one, I think. I think this is a tough one. I think this is a tough one. I think this is a difficult sentence. <laughs> I think this is a difficult sentence. Alex, what's wrong? What can make you behave so out of character? Good. What's the sentence? <laughs> Come on, what's the sentence? Yeah. What is the sentence? So he is in jail. Oh, Mary Poppins. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Mary Poppins. Very good. Helga. It is not out of behavior for politicians to act in their own interests. So, Helga, we're using character. Say woo. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Radu, it's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Good. Tetsuro, it's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Peter, it's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Anna. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Alice. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Tomas. The politicians always act, so 
it is out of character. No, Tomas, no, that doesn't work. Tomas, that, that didn't work. Because we need the most point, the, the point is they act in their own interest. Okay, so that is the, that is the main point. Okay, Tomas, politicians act in their own interest. Not in the interest of the people, but they act in the interest of themselves. For um, themselves, for themselves. Lolly, it is not out of character for politicians to act in their own interest. Yes, Dr. Maris, it is not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. R right. Mm. The main point of this sentence is politicians, politicians act in their own interests. Marion, it is not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Rita, it's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Good, good. Nice one. <laughs> yes, right, dude. Okay, let's check the sentence. You got it. It's not out of character for politicians to act in their own interests. Woo! Today was tough, everyone. It was long sentences today. Yes, look at these. Whoops, we got upside down, don't we? They're upside down. I got it. Okay. These are very long today. Very long. So, yeah. But you guys persevered. You guys did your best. Thank you for doing that. Actually, I thought it went well. I thought everyone did well. And this was like very useful, right? So the sentences were long, but the topic is very useful, right? So out of character. So um, we, can, we can use this for many situations, and I think um, this was good today. I thought it was um, good practice. So And also when we do this, I think um, you understand uh, the meaning better, right? So we did lots of practice with this. And um, maybe at first you're like, I'm confused. I, I don't understand exactly. But I think now, after doing all this, I think you have a good, uh, a good idea of how to use out of character, when to use it, the situation, the context. So... Um, Good job, everyone. Yes, well done. Woohoo! Let's have a little toast to a, a job well done. Cheers. Yes, okay. Mm. All righty, all righty. Now it's time for Lolly's Revenge. Okay, Maria, yep. So Maria says that, um, okay, I was listening. So today, you know, these were long sentences. The, the the idea is a little hard. So, so um, if you're just listening, that's great, right? So learning, learning a, a language, any language, takes time, and it, it's, a, it's a process, right? It's a process, right? So, you know, one step, two steps, three steps, four steps. So it's a process, and um, there's no rush. There's no, like... Let's hurry up and do it. Um, this, this is a slow process, and it takes time, and it's very difficult. So, so whatever your strategy, however you are, what's best for you, keep it up, right? So, um, so no problem. The important thing is you're here, and you're doing your best. If, you, if you're consistent, if you're here every week with me, and you're doing your best, you will improve, so don't worry. So, no problem. Yeah, Maria, no problem. Don't worry. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lolly's revenge. Lolly's happy. <laughs> this is her activity. Okay. Uh, you you don't pronounce C in picture. Picture. Oh, Fran. Fran, 
Love you for your kind support. You very, very generous, Fran. Mwah. Thank you, Fran. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I always say thank you because I mean it. Yes. Fran, Fran, thank you for the kind support. Mwah. Yes, I will send you the cards. You will see your sentences. Fran, you will see Seiru's sentence. You will see everyone's sentence. I will send you these cards, okay? Thanks so much. Fran, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's do it, yeah? Lolly's Revenge. Lolly's, Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between two people. Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. And, oh, Seiru. Fran, Seiru, Fran, Seiru. Mwah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I'll do my little thank you dance. Yeah. <laughs> my happy dance. Happy, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy, happy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Yeah. One more, one more time. A kiss for Fran. Mwah. A kiss for Seiru. Mwah. I appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot. And um, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Lolly's Revenge. Joe and Sue. We are going to have four steps. Yes, four steps. We, I will read the conversation. Four steps. Step one is conversation. Step two is questions. Step three is reading. Step four is shadowing. Let's do it. All right, we're going to do four steps. Four steps to success. Four steps to success. Four steps to success. And actually, the, the dictation cards were difficult, but today's Lolly's, Lolly's Revenge will be easy, okay? So that's good. We're having a difficult, easy, difficult, easy. So you can see this is short, okay? So everyone, you can relax, enjoy. It's going to be short and smooth, okay? So it's going to be Short and smooth today, Lolly's Revenge. So, so now it's time to relax, enjoy, listen. Okay, so here we go. Countdown to Lolly's Revenge. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yes. Joe's first. Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? Yes, Lolly, short and smooth. Let me do it again. I have to repeat it. Okay, I, 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 I read Lolly's comment. Short and smooth. I just, that's a nice, I just, I just made that up now. Out of, just out of the air. Short and smooth. <laughs> okay, here we go. Joe. Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? I think you were daydreaming. Wow. Yes, I was. What were you daydreaming about? I was dreaming about a vacation. Where were you? I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. What? Swimming with pigs? Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Yes, count down one more time. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? I think 
you were daydreaming. Wow, yes, I was. What were you daydreaming about? I was dreaming about a vacation. Where were you? I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. What? Swimming with pigs? Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. <laughs> Okay, what shall we do? <laughs> what shall we do? <laughs> Are we ready for questions? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? What? Okay, Radu is ready for questions. What shall we do? Okay, Lolly says, last time, more slowly. Okay, I think that's a good idea, Lolly. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I think. What, what does this dream mean? What does this dream mean? <laughs> What an extraordinary dream. What an extraordinary dream. Okay, yes, Lolly, here we go. Last time, more slowly. Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? I think you were daydreaming. Wow, yes, I was. What were you daydreaming about? I was dreaming about a vacation. Where were you? I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. What? Swimming with pigs? Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. That's true. You can do that. That is true. There are swimming pigs in the Bahamas. Believe it or not, there are, maybe Dr. Ramirez knows about this. Dr. Ramirez is close to the Bahamas. She lives in the Dominican Republic, which is kind of in that area. Yes, Sewu, that's true. Radu says, pigs can swim better than Michael Phelps, right? Probably. <laughs> or maybe they're, they're slow. I don't think so. I think, Radu, I think Michael um, Phelps is a better swimmer than pigs. <laughs> For Dighty. <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right, all right. Oh, really, Helga? I didn't know that. But there are swimming pigs in the Bahamas. There are swimming pigs there. I saw it on TV. I've never been. I want to go to the Bahamas, but I saw it. <laughs> okay, it's time for questions, everyone. Here we go. QT, question time. Here we go. Four questions. Question number one. Here we go. Question number one. What was Sue doing? Question number one. What was Sue doing? Question one. What was Sue doing? Question number one. What was Sue doing? <laughs> Vasana. Not Joe. No, not Joe. Okay, Helga. Yes. Radu, yes. Hello, Noor. How are you doing, Noor? Hello, hello. Lali, yes. Tetsuro, yes. What was Sue doing? What was Sue doing? Anna, or Se Sewu, yes. Anna, yes. Oh, really? Okay, I, I had no idea. Like, Tomas says, um, dreaming pig 
is lucky. Uh, Helga says, she said that um, pigs and water equals sec or, um, wealth. Wow, I, I didn't know th those, those things. <laughs> yes, Maria, good. Yeah, Tomas. Yes, Dr. Maris. Yes, Rita. Good. So what was Sue doing? She was daydreaming. Good. All right. She was daydreaming. Fantastic. Okay, question number two. Question number two. What was Sue daydreaming about? Question number two. What was Sue daydreaming about? Yes, Fran. That's right, Radu. When pigs fly. That's right. And Pink Floyd has their their um their like logo is a flying pig. Pink Floyd, the band, they have a flying pig. So that's right. Okay, Lolly, number two. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna turn off my mic. I have to hold on, hold on, I got I gotta sneeze, blow my nose. Ho hold on, I'm gonna turn off my mic for a minute. Okay, sorry, sorry. I had to sneeze. Ah, choo! Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so question two What was Sue daydreaming about? And yes, Mary Poppins. Alice. Okay, I'm looking at. Okay, Lolly's first here. I gotta go back. I left and then I missed. Okay, two. Lolly says, uh, she was daydreaming about a vacation. Good. Tomas, she was, uh, okay, wait, wait, okay. Carl, good. Or Peter, I mean, Peter. Um, Tetsuo, she was daydreaming about a vacation. Good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. About a vacation. Yep. Yeah. Seiru, Marion. Okay. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you. So she said, bless you. So in English, um, when, when, you, when someone sneezes, in English, you say, um, bless you, bless you. So thank you, Lolly, thank you. And if, when someone, when you sneeze and someone says, bless you, then you say, thank you. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Everyone's got it. Wow, so in, in Korea too, Tama, or Seiru says it means, when you dream about a pig, it means, you're lucky. Wow. Hold on. I got it. My nose is itchy. Hold on. Sorry. I had no idea about um, that about pigs. We in in um, in America, like my culture, there's no nothing about that about pigs. <laughs> no, pigs don't mean anything in America, or like in my culture, in a um, American culture, pigs don't. They just, they're food, right? That's, in America, pigs are food. We, we don't have any other meaning, except for, like, there's, there's um, you know, phrases, like what um, Radu said, um, when pigs can fly, that means it'll never happen. So, anyways, okay, that's interesting. Thank you for, thank you for sharing that. That's very interesting. And um, I think that's very useful for other people, right? Like, when you... When you say, oh, th in, in my country, it means this. And it's like, oh, that's interesting. So I think other people will enjoy that. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. Number three, number three. Was Joe surprised? Was Joe surprised? Yeah, Seiru, I yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea. Very interesting, right? So w what what... Some topics can um, bring on, spawn, right? Like, okay, I, about uh, swimming pigs. And then, oh, in my country, it means this. In my country, da, da, da. So very, very good. Very interesting. Okay. Three, was Joe surprised about, was Joe surprised about Sue's dream? Was Joe surprised about Sue's dream? 
Okay, nice. Mary Poppins is on the board. Um, Mary Poppins says, yes, Joe was surprised. Wow, Radu, to drive your pigs to the market equals to snore. Wow, I didn't know that. Interesting. Thank you, Radu. Tomas, yes, he was surprised. Yes, that's right. Good, Marion, yes. Sewu says, yes. Lolly says, yes, Joe was surprised by the dream from, uh, okay, swimming with pigs. Yes, yes, so Joe was surprised was surprised of Sue's dream. So, okay, Lolly. Joe was surprised by Sue's dream. That's better, okay. Lolly. Joe was surprised by Sue's dream. Joe was surprised by Sue's dream. Good, yep, okay, we got it, yep. Dr. Maris, good. Joe was surprised about Sue's dream. Nice sentence. Radu, uh, yes, Joe was surprised by what Sue Day dreamt. Very good. That's a good sentence, Radu. Okay, one more. Okay, four. Question four. Question four. Why was Joe surprised? Okay, Lolly. Joe was surprised by Sue's dream. Perfect. Short and simple, right? Smooth. What was what did I say? Um, short and smooth. That's right. So, Lolly, that sentence was short and smooth. Don't forget that. Short and smooth. <laughs> Lolly, you want to be short and smooth. Yep. Okay. Question four. Why was Joe surprised? Yeah, yeah, as happy as a pig in mud. Yep, we, yep, we, that's, we, we have that too. As happy as a pig in mud. As happy as a pig in mud. As happy as a pig in mud. Okay, four, question four. Why was Joe surprised? Lolly has. He was surprised that Sue was swimming with pigs. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Mary Poppins. Joe was surprised by Sue's unusual dream. Tomas. Because to swim with pigs is really extra door ordinary. Extraordinary. Yes. Vasana. Because Sue's swimming with a pig. Yes. Good, Vasana. Hartzell. Because her dream was so bizarre. Yes, Hartzell. How does that sound to you? Would you like to actually, um, so we were watching TV and they had swimming pigs in the Bahamas, right? And my daughter, that's her dream now. So that's what, when I was, when I was doing the, the, um, the, the conversation, I, I was thinking um, of my daughter because that's my daughter's dream is to go to the Bahamas to swim with the pigs. <laughs> so so um, that's my daughter's dream. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. Now, yeah, Dr. Maris. So um, he was surprised about Sue's weird dream. Yeah, very good. Very good. Okay, that was the questions, right? So we did that. You guys did excellent. So now let's read baby pig. I'm not, no, I don't think they're baby pigs or piglets. I, I think they're full grown adult pigs that swim in the Bahamas. And you could swim with them, right? They're friendly and you can swim with the pigs in the Bahamas, in the warm water. <laughs> okay, yeah, piglet is a baby pig. That's right, Tomas, good. Okay, let's. Let's read the conversation. So I'm going to hold it up and let's read it together, shall we? Let's do it together. Here we go. Okay. Joe says, Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? 
I think you were daydreaming. Wow, yes, I was. What were you daydreaming about? I was daydreaming. No, I'm sorry. I was dreaming about a vacation. Where were you? I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. What? Swimming with pigs? Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. Okay, let's look at it again. Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? I think you were daydreaming. Wow, yes I was. What were you daydreaming about? I was dreaming about a vacation. What were you doing? I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. What? Swimming with pigs? Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. <laughs> wow, that's my daughter's dream. That's what I said. That's my daughter's dream. <laughs> but from, uh, from Japan to Bahamas, that's a long, long way and very expensive, very expensive. So maybe one day my daughter's dream will come true, maybe. Okay, let's... Let's shadow. Oh, that was the reading, so let's mark that off. We did the reading. Check that off. Now, let's shadow. Here we go. Yeah, Fran. The Bahamas, yeah. F from, from Japan to the Bahamas, that's a long flight, expensive. And then the Bahamas, like hotel, that's expensive. So ugh, maybe one day, you never, never say never, right? Never say never. Okay. Maybe one day it'll come true. Okay, here we go. Let's shadow. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Sue, snap out of it. Sue, snap out of it. Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? I think you were daydreaming. I think you were daydreaming. I think you were daydreaming. Wow, yes I was. Wow, yes I was. Wow, yes I was. What were you daydreaming about? What were you daydreaming about? What were you daydreaming about? I was daydreaming about a vacation. I was daydreaming about a vacation. I was daydreaming about a vacation. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. What? Swimming with pigs? What? Swimming with pigs? What? Swimming with pigs? Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't buy lottery tickets. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Dr. Maris, what is the meaning of snap out of it? That's right. So, like, wake up. Like, um, good question. Snap. So, snap your fingers. Right? Snap out of it means, like, wake up. And not, like, wake up, like, good morning wake up. But, like, your 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 you're like staring into space. You're, you're kind of like, um, let's see, what's the word? You are like zoning out. You are like zoning out. You are not paying attention, right? You're, you're like daydream, right? Like in class, maybe you're just going like this, just staring into space, right? You just, and then snap out of it, like, Wake, you know, snap out. Oh, what was I doing, right? So um, snap out means like pay attention. Like wake up, you know, like 
what are you doing? Snap out of it. Like, come, come, come to, come to reality. Come down to earth, right? You're like staring into space, right? You're just, you're just um, blanking out. Just, uh, and then, like, okay, snap out of it. Woo, okay. Good, good question. Okay. So let's, okay, we shadowed, right? So let's look at it one more time here. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, Floor, hello. Floor, how are you? Okay, we're, we're almost finished here. Sue, snap out of it. What was I doing? I think you were daydreaming. Wow, yes, I was. What were you daydreaming about? I was dreaming about a vacation. Where were you? I was in the Bahamas swimming with pigs. What? Swimming with pigs? Yes, it's my dream to swim with pigs. Yes, it's my dream. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we shadowed. That was great. See, that was short and smooth. Yeah. Whoa, wow. Okay. We are way over time, people. Wow, I'm looking at the clock. We're over like almost two and a half hours. Wow, wow, wow. So we did a lot today. Oh, I need to take a picture of the whiteboard before, before I turn off the live stream so I don't forget. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. There's some good stuff about out of character. Yeah, okay, so let me step back here, take a picture. Okay, countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. I will upload it today on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so that you can check it out anytime you want to. Oh, okay, you're welcome, Esram. Thank you, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Helga. Thank you, everyone. We are way over time. Thank you so much for being here with me for over two hours. So I really appreciate your kind, kind support. And Fran and Sebu, today, thank you for the extra support. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Mwah. Love you. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. Um, take it easy. Be safe. Stay healthy. Smile. And um, let's go swimming with pigs. Let's, let's swim with the pigs, everyone. <laughs> That's good. That's not a bad thing. That would be fun, right? Like swimming with the pigs. That would be fun. I think so. Anyways, um, thank you, Mary Poppins. Um, today's Friday. Have a good weekend. Like I said, I will be back on Tuesday. I think it will be February. Wow. January is almost finished. So I will see you in February. Wow. January. This is our last live stream in January. Wow. So happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say Happy New Year now? Well, I think next month will be too late. So, so um, anyways, thank you so much, everyone. I have to get going. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Dr. Maris. Thank you, Green Team. Thank you so much. Seiru, thank you for the extra support. Thank you so much. Mwah. Fran, thank you so much. Mwah. Okay. Um, yes, Norman, see you in February. Good. Peter, thank you for being part of the Green Team. And... I, I have to say this, please help the green team grow. Support me so I can support you. Support me so I can support you and um, get the extras, get the extra content by becoming a member. Okay, so um, I have to go. Everyone have a good time. Be safe and I will see you on Tuesday. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.